Hey guys, hi Asha. Hi. Thanks for joining in. Are you all set, ready? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we have Asha Joseph uh, from Seattle. Uh, you know, and I'll tell you the reason why she is here. So, Asha. Yes. See you. I am ready. <laughs> mm. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Tata, for joining again. I'm I'm sure you're ready and all excited. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One more minute. Super lighting and awesome background. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. You can see this now. <laughs> Friends, you know now uh, why we schedule this during the weekend because uh, we have Asha, who is the aspiring YouTuber. So, a quick intro about Asha. Uh, she's done a lot of things, like uh, including business English. She's good at dancing, which we can see here. Uh, she's uh, now uh, aspiring YouTuber. And one of the reasons uh, Asha, I find Asha very passionate is because uh, she is getting into the most challenging aspect of her career, which is entertaining people. And the most difficult part is to entertain people. And not only that, she is getting into comedy stream, uh, which is very difficult to make people laugh. And uh, that's the toughest job, I would say. So uh, thanks, Asha, for being here. And thanks for taking up. I mean, in this particular stressful uh, era and you know this pandemic, uh, I'm sure uh, making people laugh and you know getting that humor into them, uh, making them uh, making the stress release that that's the best part. So, Asha, maybe quickly introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Asha. As you see, like you know, it's everywhere. I've been marketing myself, NRA Diaries by Asha, and all those things. So I know a lot of people know me by that name. And um, I started this YouTube just two months back, actually. So it was by chance it was nothing like a planned activity it all happened by chance i was supposed to join another youtuber but that didn't work out because it wasn't practical lots of issues first thing is that me being in seattle itself is like a great uh, is it's a big challenge and doing it here is like even more uh, difficult if i was back in hyderabad things would have been much easier i, I mean i feel though so yeah uh, just a moment let me switch on the light let me let me just do that. Now you guys can see me. Yes, we can. So thanks, thanks for taking time out, Asha. So you know, it's, it's nice to have uh, aspiring people who have passion and who are like doing a lot to uh, you know fulfill their passion. So you're one of them. Now that now that we are you know at home, all that we have is time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm always curious. Kya karu, kya karu, kya karu, kya karu, and all that. So. Yeah, so right time I got this opportunity though. Yeah. Okay, great. So are you all set for the rapid fire question so that we get to know you? <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, it starts now. So describe uh, Asha during college days. Um, very social. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you see Asha, there's like it's a known name on the stage. If there is any kind of a program, it's it's known thing that Asha will be on the stage. So, so, so that's about me though. And okay. more into extracurricular activities than my actual curriculum. We saw that in just a few seconds ago. So. Sorry? We saw that just a few seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the most uh, funniest movie punch uh, which you remember recently? A punch uh, dialogue. Uh, so this Brahmanandam's movie. Uh, so one thing that you know he'll ask uh, Nagarjuna Garu, like you know the way the camera is you know kept, and then the way he says, you know, please vote for me. <laughs> he was yeah, my, my friend does that. You know, she is like you know now mango performance. I think we did it during someone when you know the mangoes were around. You know, she was like 
saying the camera and saying, "Man, mango performance is amazing. They please rate me." So yeah, I think that that's a memorable shot which most of us uh, will relate. Oh, that's like we didn't expect that actually. So the way he said, "No," with that he had that grin and all that. It's he's very expressive. I really love him. So right. yeah. So if you have to paint your wall behind you uh, today, what would you paint? What would what is the first thing which will come into your mind? Uh, maybe. first thing that comes into my like my personality a fox opportunistic so it will be like waiting for an opportunity so i think i relate a lot with that so yeah i am a stark hmm Good. so yeah i think that what do you shop for the most like when you know when you shop what what are the common things which you buy frequently clothes <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're a YouTuber. I'm sure the, that's that's the premium. No, even if I was not a YouTuber, no, even if I was not a YouTuber, I'll still do that. I have this habit of mm-hmm. buying clothes, and then the old clothes, I gather everything, and then I donate it. Yeah, and I nice. don't like to keep all my clothes like that. You know, I I need very little though, but I keep buying. So old ones, I pile up and I just give it away. So, mm. so that's why I have to frequently keep buying. that that's a good approach you know if you're planning to buy uh, four more pieces and you know it's better you at least shell off two or you know four of them yes you know, let it go and you know be used by somebody else right right that's good okay so have you beaten up a boy during your school days school days no no yeah so college days yes Okay. A bus conductor, so you will know why, why, and all those things. So yeah. Okay. So bus conductor. Okay. What is the product or service you refuse refuse to promote, or you feel that you know they shouldn't be there, mm. or you feel they are very funny? I never thought of it actually. So <laughs> anything that can harm, uh, you know, people's, um, or it 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 goes on a negative way. for example mm-hmm. i wouldn't do anything related to politics i wouldn't do anything related to religious thing nothing i'm totally against that but if you ask me product product then anything i don't know actually I'm not sure if they pay me well maybe then i will think whether it has it would, yeah. would it do any harm or not if it doesn't do any harm then i don't have a problem so okay. yeah So, your favorite funny dance or a song? What? Your favorite funny dance or song? Ah, uh, funny dance. Ah. Huh? Um, I don't know. There's nothing funny as such. Oh, uh, this is a rapid fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, song ta hai no. Yahoo, chahe koi mujhe jungle kahe. No, no, no. So that that one dance. Papu can dance ala probably that one. That one. That the guy, not the main lead, but the guy who was who dances like not in a good way. So that that maybe. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Good one. So name one artist who doesn't have to act funny, do anything. Just seeing him makes you laugh. Uh, first is Brahmi. Brahmi. Brahmi and then uh, Brahmi. Okay. Ha. Uh, Brahmanandam and then Venela Kishore mm-hmm. and Saptagiri. Okay. And uh, ha, these are the guys. Ali, Ali. How can I forget Ali? Uh, Ali as well. So mm-hmm. yeah. They don't have to act. You know, just their presence, screen presence, ah. everybody loves. That look is enough actually. So. That's they have amazing expression, you know, expressions like. So yeah. And so uh, certificates or skills. Hey, what? Yeah, I to, mostly I get all these dance thingy, and that's that's where I think I also got some certificates for painting. Hmm. Uh, so when I was young, I think my my mother used to push me for all these kind of a thing because. yeah they kind of understood that i'm interested in these they wouldn't send me to any math class and all because no 
<laughs> I wouldn't be there. So yeah, I think I got certificates for painting and uh, dance, of course. Choir, uh, yeah, singing, group, not solo, because that will never happen. <laughs> Um, yeah. okay. So last time you laughed out loud. Like just a while ago, I was watching. Uh, you know, I have this habit of watching back-to-back -back comedy scenes from any movie. So I was okay. watching uh, just a while ago, just before you, we started off. So yeah, for me, you know, I I I laugh a lot. Even for small thing, you no, know, I laugh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so. And if I start laughing, nah, it's so difficult to like stop control kind of a thing. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, if you had to babysit uh, your neighbor's kid for two yeah. months, yeah. okay, what would he or she turn out after two months? I think uh, I'll make them dance like anything. So uh, that's for sure. Whoever comes to my house, they all know that I'll make them dance. Uh, that's very common in our house, though. So when they come home, I'll switch on the very good music and they all be doing free dancing. They love to do that. So uh, most of so there is this video, actually, I should say that my online dance class video actually on YouTube mm. that is actually inspired by these kids. Yeah, I know. We've, yeah. we've seen that with kids yesterday and that's it's really good. Uh, what yeah. a teacher goes through while teaching dance classes online and, and it's hilarious. Yeah, and then those kids, right, that they love the way I basically converse. Very funny, yeah. right? So, and then after I made this, they, they started loving me even more. So, I actually created this a small bite for WhatsApp forwards. I, it wasn't okay. intent, my, I never intended to put it on YouTube or any other platform. After I sent it, they were like crazy. We were like watching over, like, you know, they're continuously watching the same thing. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, is it? Then I let me put it on Insta and YouTube. And that's how I actually put it over there. So, guys, if you are, um, if you don't know what that is, you should actually go and check it. Especially uh, ask your kids to uh, watch that. They'll have some good time. Yeah. So, we have one of the audience, my wife, asking uh, one of the steps you did on uh, during that particular episode. So, can you do it now? <laughs> I don't. So, that I never planned or anything. It was not like a written script. It was very spontaneous. So, can you do it? This was just a small. Okay. Let me check. What did I do? Did I say Sirisha? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sirisha, squat, squat. Why you can't even squat, squat like me? Ah, <laughs> yeah, Sirisha is my friend. So okay. we used to dance a lot. So so it's so I just called out her name. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. one. Thank, thanks for doing that. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, you know, we, we're talk, talking about dance. Uh, so, I have a lot of friends who have given up dancing. They were like, you know, uh, they are not professional dancers, but they've given up on dancing, free dancing at home, etc. After a certain age, do you believe that there is an age limit for dancing? So, the thing is that, see, I dance for myself, not to show somebody that I can dance. That is never the thing. Mm -hmm. For that, you don't have an age as such. If you're dancing for your own like happiness, why is age a criteria? I always tell my friends, even you don't even have to know to dance. Mm -hmm. Even if, when you have, when you listen to a music, you feel like moving, that's enough. That means you're enjoying it. And you're enjoying it for, not to show other people, but for your own self. So that's about it. So the simple thing is, age is not a criteria to enjoy dance. So country music or hip hop? Everything, yeah. I this is nothing of that sort. Yeah, I can enjoy it. it dep it's it's about depends on the mood, you know. Mm -hmm. So upcoming potential comedy celebrity in South India. It can be on movies. It can be from uh, web series. South Indian. Uh, ah yes, there is this YouTuber. Uh, he's in Tamada Media. Ravi Teja. 
I keep watching his videos. I like his videos. I like his acting also. And his there is Sotari Brothers is what I start first video that I've seen. Then after that, I started work, seeing his other videos as well. I like those both the brothers basically. Ravi Teja so and his, ha, I don't, something I forgot his name. Something it starts with S though. Yeah, but they they are good. I like uh, especially Ravi Teja. Oh my God, he he is very good. Very realistic, very believable kind of a thing. Funny. Yeah, that's, that's really fair. important. Yeah, so that guy, yeah, I like him. So if in Telugu. Have, yeah, it's a in, Telugu or Kannada this thing. It's a Telugu series, so I basically have some special, um, you know, liking towards certain, you know, language guys. Okay, so Telugu, yeah, this guy. If it's Hindi, then I'd like to watch Vinita Nas. Uh, so mm -hmm. they are from Jordan Indian. So I'm I'm crazy. I'm a big fan of uh, you know that. Yeah, Jordan, those yes. like, yeah, actually one of the one this my quarantine edition is inspired by those guys. They have a similar concept, you know, different scenarios. They kind of that. So I started after I got inspired by their kind of content actually. So yeah, so these are the guys I kind of watch. Malayalam, since I'm a Malayali, uh, mm -hmm. though I'm a Malayali, I haven't watched a lot of uh, videos in Malayalam. Even if I watch, I, I wouldn't know their names. But um, Karikyu is one of one of the leading YouTube uh, channel, basically. So they have good content too. So yeah, I should watch Tamil and uh, Kannada, you know. Kannada, my God, they have amazing mm -hmm. content. So I, I do get these WhatsApp forwards. Oh, they are so good. Like, yeah, just that I can't. So Kannada, no, if you know Telugu, it's quite similar. So since I know Telugu, I can relate to whatever they're saying. I can understand. So, yeah. And my co-actor, she's a Kannadiga. So I keep asking, what is this? What is this? Can I translate? <laughs> so, yeah, I like. So language is not a barrier. I keep checking all kind of languages. So. We have a question from the friends. Uh, Adeline uh, is asking, uh, Asha, can you talk English with Malayalam accent? Oh, actually, I thought I'm already, I already have a Malayalam accent. <laughs> no? Uh, I think I speak, I think I speak very simple English. Simple English? Okay. Um, yeah, you asked me, I try to, I try to answer and Manglish. Manglish. Uh, your, your favorite, uh, I mean, your, your same favorite uh, episode seen from the movie from Brahmanandam. So maybe you can. I cannot come. No, I cannot. I can never do whatever he has done, though. Never. <laughs> okay. Have like, you tried, uh, you know, his expression? You know, uh, there is a scene from Brahmanandam which. Where he gives multiple expressions for uh, each scenario, facial <laughs> expression, like angry, angry face. Angry. <laughs> I, this is like my favorite from what is it? <laughs> uh, then, another <laughs> Angry, silly. I can do it. But now I'm very conscious, so I'm not getting it though. But yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah. no. <laughs> Do a video only on those expressions, you know, different expressions. Uh, yeah, I, I do it sometimes though. I so my friends call me queen of expressions. So if mm -hmm. you see me, uh, there is a series called Super Nanny. In that the episode two, I do most of so in that I have less dialogue and mostly it is expressions. So you would see it's funny. Just my expressions actually. Yeah. So yeah, that's inspired by Brahmi actually. Uh, we have another question from Neha. Huh? Yeah, we have another question from Neha. Uh, she is asking, how did you learn to edit videos on your YouTube channel? Oh, very good thing. You know what? I first thing I started uh, first my edit was on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So I had no clue how to do that. So I started doing small, small things on TikTok. It's like, ah, easy. Then I started searching on YouTube and little by little. So I have done dance videos. So I started learning through my dance videos how to edit. 
so i have some, you know good friends with me who always dance you know with me shirley and babna and mm-hmm. gauri whenever i call them they're always there and shiva as well so all of these guys they used to like you know as soon as i call they come we dance we you know and i edit them and that's how i actually started to edit i had no clue i like you know i've asked so many people how do you guys edit how do you, i mean zero actually zero i don't even take selfie pictures to edit and put it if you see i recently started putting pictures mm. i still hate doing all this but now i have i don't have a choice so yeah first my first thing was on tiktok second thing my dance videos helped me to edit that's where i started to actually edit yeah. that was thanks my stepping stone thanks neha so yeah sirisha is basically asking for three expressions angry happy and sad so that's what i think sad i can't do it i don't have a sad thing in me though if i'm sad people are laughing see <laughs> sad no. so i don't write sad stories only happy stories okay yep that that completely rapid fire question you know that's it fast yeah you know i'm like thinking that's it that's all the questions you can, I more. You can ask me more questions i can do it <laughs> I think I did all my old questions were really bad. The one that really sucked though, uh, the best song and that uh, you know dance. I I wasn't prepared mm-hmm. for that. Yeah, I have to think today. Sometimes it happens when someone asks you the question, right? You won't get the actual answer. You'll get later. Later. Yeah, I know. I've experienced that when people yeah. start by pulling my own legs. So. Yeah. So, I mean, if you had to go back uh, to your college days, and uh, what what is the notorious thing you would do with your uh, classmates? I think I didn't have the guts to do any notorious things. I wanted to do actually. So, I what is that which you missed yeah. and you want you would do if you're back to college? It's okay. the same old batch. I wanted to bunk classes. Okay. I really you wanted never, to bunk classes. You huh? ever did bunk classes? I did one bunking that is not even considered as bunking. It was a stupid bunking. I wasted my bunk. <laughs> we went to a park. We went with three, four girls. Okay, so the thing my parents know they never give me pocket money. So where yeah. will I go? So they know that I am one waste for a candidate. If they give me pocket money, you know, <laughs> where will I be? So yeah, so that's the thing. So it's like. Uh, I I re, I found if I ever want to go back that's what I want to bunk classes I want to go to pub I want to go to movie theaters and I want to have like so they were this notorious gang I wanted to join that gang I was scared okay. to join those people you know what would people think they really didn't have a good name in the school and like in in the college okay so but I really liked them yeah I wanted to be them <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. Now they are all very decent. During college days, we kya bolenge, ye kya bolenge, and I think. Ah, yeah, exactly. So it's a lot of things, and you know, BNB now, uh, things which we. Even if you do it, you do it. That is a different thing. In my own way, silently, that my parents know and my everybody knows. Jo karna hai, karte rehti. You know, that's mm-hmm. that will be there, but that is not sufficient. That's not me. You know, I I could do more notorious things, but yeah. So we have another question from your friend uh, Anjali Boni. So she is asking, do you remember the dances which you uh, which you all performed during the PM Con yeah, days? So there is this one of my favorite Sanjay that song. I love it. Let me must must do. I love it. Ditch ka ditch ka ditch ka ditch ka. That is my favorite actually. And uh, Aika Dajiba. We did a this Marathi uh, song. Aika Dajiba. Mm-hmm. Aika Daji, that was yeah. Actually, Aika Daji Ba was taught by my dancer Madhu sir from Sri Muvar. So I basically did the same dance. I taught everything the same steps, everything same, and I changed a little bit after coming to Seattle. I did the same dance again. I really loved the dance. I mean the song, not the dance, the song. So I I I'll put my own variations a little bit and I'll keep changing. But I really love that. So this Aikadajipa, I think I'm, I performed in three or four places, four different places. 
So these are the two songs. One is Sadi that's Ailare Larki Mast Mast Do Ailare and Aikadajiba. These are the two things that I can never forget. Yeah. So how much time did it take to practice that? So yeah, when I go on the stage, I expect everyone to like, like dance out really well. So I make them practice like very good. So maybe three months. Wow. Yeah. My well, dancer was so strict, you know. So Madhu sir, he was uh, very, very strict. So I think I learned from him. Yeah. And he also, yeah, I've learned a lot from him. But yeah, that's he, he was like, you know, practice, practice, practice. It's like you have to build the muscle memory. That's what he used to say. Yeah. Good, good, good uh, job done on uh, the performance for Rapid Fire. So now. The final question, what would you do if you become the one minute chief minister? Oh, yeah. So one minute, you know, it's really practical. But still, if if some if this because I have to answer this, I'll say I have read an article. I'm not sure if it was mm -hmm. APJ Abdul Kalam's article or if it was Manmohan Singh's article. They had mentioned if if we have to grow as a country, then there are three things that we have to work on. That stood really strong with me, Okay, those three things. One is education. Mm -hmm. Second one is developing our small scale industries. Third one is you know, improve our health sector. So in three, these three things, uh, I will, I'll concentrate basically on these things. So first thing is, because I come from middle class family, if you see uh, whatever is happening in schools, basically the fees, LKG, UKG guys are paying one lakh Seriously, that's ridiculous. That's what I will do first. I'll check. I don't know if this is what's possible, but that's what I would do. If not that, I would actually um, have some semi-government schools, more like Navodaya and you know Kendra Vidyala, more of that schools, and where they, we can actually have less school, you know school, uh, school fees. School fees. So that's what I would, that's the primary thing. Because I remember, or see, in, in, in the past, if you see our parents struggled, whatever they earned, they put it to your kid, you know, kid's education. At that time, the, it wasn't that expensive. Now, the current generation, whatever they are earning, that's again going back to the education only. Nothing for themselves. So for, for, for your own self, if you want to do this thing, nothing they can do. So yeah, that, I agree. You know, during the childhood, it was like what uh, for three months the school fee was like around one eighty. Yeah, we cannot really compare uh, the fee now, but yeah, as you said, mm -hmm. it's like at least a lakh for you know small kids. So that, that's yeah, pretty how can kindergarten kids pay one lakh? Like seriously, I mean that's ridiculous. I and mean, I really can't even think of it. Like that's I I'm totally against that. If, if we have to grow as a country, education shouldn't be something that, you know, parents should struggle to, you know, they'll have to think twice to send their kids, you know, to the school. That shouldn't be there. You know? Yeah, and there should not be any interruption. I think that one of the reasons you're saying is, uh, you know, uh, the fee cannot depend on the earning of uh, the parent. Where, yeah. You know, situations like this, the parent loses a job and all that it becomes very stressful. And the, there are chances where the education is getting interrupted because of... Uh, um, the market condition or uh, yes. the economy of the country. So uh, right. you're right. It shouldn't really, education should not depend on market conditions like mutual funds. Yeah. Also, the recent thing I was very like, unhappy with that, uh, you know, thing they were trying to make government schools an English medium, to have an English medium thing, and they just, you know, declined that particular law. I was very uh, unhappy. They should have done that. They should have done that. You know, especially the fourth class employees or people who cannot afford, they mm -hmm. maybe they want to learn, they want to you know get into an English medium school, but they don't have a choice. Give them the choice. Don't force things on people. They should have all the choices. If the government is putting laws, they, it should be like, you know, give them choices. If they want to stick to English medium, let them do. If they want to stick to their own regional, you know, thing, let them do that. So that's something that, uh, I'm not. So that's one thing, and healthcare also. So you know, I I like something like I, I like this Arogya Shri. They should do this. You know, they should develop the, on that Arogya Shri thingy. Also, that you know, elders uh, they should automatically 
uh, you know, get insured, like how we have it in the US and all. It is a very huge thing to say, but it would be nice if we can do something of that sort. You know, automatically the Medicare claim gets applied to 60 above. You know, because you now that way is at least the kids or anybody from middle class and below that, they will not have that load. You know, main thing, I mean, where, where do you spend a lot of money? Education and health. If you just, you know, try to reduce that load, maybe, you know, we will have a better life, I would I would think. The letter, I think less stressful life. Otherwise, everybody, you know, they'll be always stressed. Are kuch ho gaya to, are kuch ho gaya to. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, I think India has got a lot of potential. We're very talented. So small-scale industry, we should actually invest in those a lot. Yeah. So education, uh, you know, fee uh, in education, education system and uh, small scale industries. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thanks, Rasha. So we still have uh, more questions coming up from your friends. Uh, Rama R. Kumar, what is yeah. the secret of your energy and uh, enthusiasm? I, I don't know. I think um, enthusiasm to do what I'm doing is because of the failures I had in the past. That is the only thing that drives me to do things that I want to do. And energy, um, that, that's my personality, I think. I'm always energetic in the world. So it's in the genes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we have two more comments. Uh, yeah, one, one question from Sirisha again is, can you mimic a child's voice? And, uh, <laughs> Sweet uh -huh. voice. Uh, so that's something that no, I cannot mimic. If you want to see me, you have to go check out my YouTube page, baby. And subscribe and like it. <laughs> yes, subscribe and like it. Share it with your friends and family. So, so I, I so I had this plan. Every day, every channel, sorry, every YouTube video that I'm going to release, I'll have something special at the end. So I started mm -hmm. this thing from my quarantine uh, part three. Seeing that there is a disclaimer, nobody paid attention to the disclaimer. <laughs> I'm very sad. So, finally, we got to see your sad face. Oh, oh did you get <laughs> okay? So, that disclaimer is something interesting, you guys should watch it actually. So, so this is called the stylish sadness, guys. So, you've learned something today how to be stylishly sad. <gasps> <Shimmer>. <laughs> I'll use this somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. So yeah, thanks a lot. I, I think that that's all about this show. Thanks for taking time out, Tasha, and uh, all the best. Keep inspiring. Uh, we are more than inspiring. You know, uh, make people comfortable, make people laugh. Uh, so keep up the positive energy and keep doing good job. Any any help you need from any of us, you know, the friends who are watching yeah. this. It's Subscribe it. to my channel, share it with your friends and family, like it, comment it, I mean, comment below. That's what I want. What else? So, yeah, and I, I didn't have that, uh, what is that, uh, confidence that I can do what I'm doing. So, only because of the people around me, uh, I did what I did. I really didn't have the confidence that I can make it to YouTube. I can do some small videos for my friends, like, you know, uh, your own family and friends, but to go public is some, that's a very huge decision that I took. So I don't know where, how this journey will go, where I will land, but yeah, it's exciting. I'm happy actually, whatever I'm doing, I'm happy. No regrets. So guys, if you, uh, whoever has not seen my videos, you should go and check it out. Okay. Especially nothing. Everything is special. All my videos are special. We are just two months old here, March, April, and we did good, you know, but I didn't get a lot of views. I'll get it slowly. Thing is that I don't have any background. Okay. I'm a nobody right now. So getting people's attention is like a huge thing. So I'll know in, in a few months, I'll know whether I really have it in me or not. So let's see. If I don't have it, I have no problem. I'll just back off. But if I have it, I want to proceed further. So only time will tell whether people like it or not. So yeah, I'm, I'm practical. So that way, yes. 
So friends, please share uh, Asha and you know watch her video, encourage her because uh, that's that's the best part we can do. We can encourage our friends, support them in whatever they're doing, and you know spread the word out. So thanks, thanks for yeah. doing this, Asha. Thanks for taking time out. Uh, no problem. Many time, many time. I'm happy. Talk your time. So 11:30. So please go back to sleep. Thanks yeah. for joining. Uh, yeah. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Enjoy whatever you're doing. That's from yeah. Sirisha. All the best, Asha. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you. Yeah. Bye.